Working on your hip fire is something you should not take lightly. This is because it is a deal breaker for any PUBG player, whether you are classic player, or a TDM player. So in this video, I will show you useful drills and practices to improve and polish your hip fire. This video will not focus on sensitivity, but you may view the playlist pinned at the top. These videos are mainly focused on hip fire sensitivity. I hope you find them useful. Don't forget to subscribe while you are at it. Now let's start the training. For starters, equip your M416 with these attachments. Start off with a simple drill for movement. Moving your joystick in this manner during movement will keep your thumb active and ready for sudden jiggle movements. This is the type of movement you should aim for when expecting an enemy. This is an example clip of what I mean. Now focus on this jiggle movement and see what you notice. Even though my character is moving to the left and right during the jiggle movement, my crosshairs are fixed steadily on the center. Make sure to practice this basic jiggle before trying other drills. This is what it will look like in an actual match. Next, you want to be able to control your crosshairs while hip firing. You should be able to control your crosshairs at will while jiggling. Practice this by switching your aim from one target to the other during the jiggle. Next, try this reflex simulation to improve this technique. Set the settings as shown. Make sure to set every setting as shown. Now save these settings. Start making the jiggle movement and try to shoot down each target one by one using small sprays. Get used to moving your crosshairs from one target to another. The more easily you can switch your aim from one target to the other, the better your hip fire control will be. Practice this occasionally to see the best results. Once you get used to it, try taking out the targets as much as possible in a single spray. Next, you can move on to the standard simulation. Set the settings as shown. Now save these settings. Now you can jiggle while trying to aim track the moving target. The faster you can shoot down all 10 targets, the better your hip fire control gets. This will allow you to easily take close range fights with ease. Always keep your crosshair at the head to shoulder level and try to maintain your crosshair at this level while hip firing. With the drills I have shown you so far, you will be able to improve your hip fire as shown. With time, you will start to have better control over your aim. Now let me tell you how to push an enemy in cover. Assume your opponent is behind this. What will you do? You can do one of two things. Either do a pre-fire while jiggling, while keeping your aim fixed at this edge, since it's the most likely area they will try to shoot from, but make sure you don't waste ammo. The second approach is to crouch down and pre-fire precisely at the corner. Start jiggling when the opponent comes out of cover so you don't end up being an easy target. Get closer with each pre-fire to finish the enemy off. Here are a few example clips of this practice being used in actual fights.
Next, I will show you guys a useful jiggle movement that will easily improve your jiggle accuracy. While jiggling, crouch down and stop moving for a split second. Crouching down helps to make your crosshairs smaller, which improves accuracy. Move back up and again, repeat this. You can see that crouching down makes the crosshairs to become smaller. This will improve your jiggle accuracy. This is how this movement should look like once you have got the hang of it. Finally, you can come to this simulation zone to focus on your technique. Select the mode as shown and set effective targets as heads only. This means only headshots will register as a confirmed hit. You can practice everything you have learned so far and use it in this training. I usually make sure to focus on long-range hip fire to improve control over my aim, or just basic jiggle movements. It's up to you to be creative and try to practice your technique in ways that you feel will be useful. That brings an end to this video. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you want more videos on any topic that yourself and others will find useful, do mention that in the comments, since I will always be uploading content that I feel may be useful to you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so, since you are missing out on tutorials that could help you make your gameplay better. Also, I would really appreciate all interactions with this video. Like and share as this is what will help me to keep uploading content for you guys. This is your chance to make suggestions for my next tutorial. Let me know in the comments. I have uploaded a few classic clips before I end the video. Hope you enjoy it. I will see you guys soon.